hey what's up guys in today's video we will be creating this kind of realistic watercolor text effect using adobe photoshop this design is fully customizable you can change the color and you can also change the text or you can just use your logo so if you want to download this project file it is absolutely for free the download link will be in the video description so hit the like button and let's jump to the photoshop okay so here we are in photoshop and the first thing that we need to do is to create new document as always i'm going with the size of 1920 by 1080 and the resolution is 72 pixel per inch for the background let's drag and drop this image into the photoshop by the way you can download these kind of images from envato elements they have 7 day free trial so if you want to check them out click on the link in the video's description anyways confirm it and drop down its opacity to about 40 percent also press ctrl e to merge it with the background now pick your type tool, click anywhere on the canvas and type your text. Confirm it and align it to the center. Press Ctrl T to open transform tool and stretch it just like this. Right click on the layer and go to blending option. In the layer style menu click on color overlay. Add black color to it. Click on inner glow. Blend mode is normal. Opacity is 100% color is white size is 20 and the range is about 55 hit ok now convert this layer into a smart object so we can edit it later let's call it text so the first thing that we need to do is to blur the edges so go to filter blur and choose gaussian blur blur it a little bit hit ok again go to filter render and choose different clouds now go ahead to filter and choose filter gallery open artistic folder and choose cut out number of levels is maximum edge simplicity is 0 and the edge fidelity is 2 hit ok by the way hit the subscribe button if you are not subscribed to this channel yet now i will go to filter filter gallery once again this time choose watercolor preset again brush details is maximum shadow intensity is 6 and the texture is 2 now as you can see it is too extreme so double click on this icon to open blending option of the filter gallery and drop down its opacity to about 20 hit ok now again go to filter gallery this time open sketch folder and choose temp light and dark balance is about 9 and the smoothness is 4 again double click on this icon and drop down its opacity to about 15% hit ok now let's add noise to it by going to filter noise and choose air noise i think 6% is looking good by the way all of these values are depend on size and resolution of your image the size and resolution of this document is 1920 by 1080 and the resolution is 72 pixel per inch now let's distort it by going to filter distort and choose ripple amount is about 20 and the size is large hit ok now right click on there and go to blending option hold alt key on your keyboard and click on this slider to break it apart and then move this slider to the left side it will make it a little lighter hit ok now to colorize it let's put it in a group by pressing ctrl g create a solid color adjustment layer on top of it and pick a color that you like hit ok right click on the layer and click on create clipping mask so that it will only limit the layer beneath it also change its blend mode to screen now let's drag and drop this PNG image into the Photoshop, resize it and move it to this side. Confirm it and change its blend mode to hard light. Pick your move tool, hold alt key on your keyboard and drag it down to duplicate it and then move it to the right side. Now let's create a hue and saturation adjustment layer on top of it and by moving this slider you can change its color. We can also do some more customization if you want to change the text open this group double click on this layer it will open another document and here you can edit your text so let me edit the text when you are done with the editing close this document and save it and photoshop will update everything in this document so this is how you can create a watercolor text effect in photoshop by the way if you want to learn how to create this design you can watch this video Thank you so much guys for watching this video, I hope you enjoy it, hit the like button if you like this video, subscribe to the channel, also ring the bell icon so you will get notified whenever I post a new video just like this one. I will be catching you in my next video, till then, peace.